Hey, y'all. See, you done separated the two. Let me get this straight. You believe God can heal bodies, but God can't heal machines? See, Philippians 4 and 6, be careful for nothing. The word careful means do not be anxious, worried, or nervous about anything. God gives you absolutely no reason at any time to be nervous, worried, fearful about anything. I need an anointed life. I don't need just an anointing to shout and dance in church. I need an anointing that works at home. I need an anointing to dance in my living room. I need an anointing to shout in my car. I need an anointing that gives God glory no matter where I am. I am a son of God. Do you hear this? You see, we think this is ridiculous. We think this is ridiculous. How can you not be nervous about stuff? What do you mean? Friend, God will just put you in some situations. I've been playing rides where folks start screaming. Grown businessmen start screaming because the plane's dropping. I look at God and go, I'm on board. No, 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 it can't go down. Destiny's not done. See, when you gain understanding, you gain relationship. And in relationship, you gain security. And I look at the devil and go, play all you want to. The plane's not in your hands. My life is not in the devil's hands. My life is in God's hands. Hallelujah. Anybody believe God in this house? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I, I, we got too many people worried, worried. You are so worried. Worried over your children, worried about your grandchildren, and you think this is love to worry. You have allowed the flesh to convince you that if you don't worry, you're not showing love. This is so contrary to the mind of God till it's not funny. Showing love is not worry. In fact, the Bible says perfect love casts out fear. According to God, when you're worried, you're not showing love. Because God's going, what exactly are you worried about? Did you breathe breath into your baby? The baby that now may be even grown up, did you breathe breath into them? Or was, did I show up on the day of their birth and <sighs> breathe breath into them? Was it you that stopped the complications when the doctor said there's complications with their birth and we're going to have to hold them a little while longer? Was it you that preserved their life when they swallowed a pen cap and it went down their throat? Was it you that saved them when they ate a chicken bone and it went down the wrong way? Was it you when another child pushed them on the playground and you were nowhere to be found and they should have hit their head on that rock? But God. And now all of a sudden, you got to worry? No, friend, you got an anointed ministry. You don't have an anointed life. Anointed ministry looks at God and says, he's able. He's able. I don't understand how. I don't know when or with who or where. All I know is he's able. Does anybody believe he's able? He's able. Let me come to this St. John chapter 14, verse 26. Watch this, St. John chapter 14, verse 26. I want you to know that God will get so into your personal life until God will guide you in everyday living. The Bible says, my sheep know my voice. It is meant for the common person on the pew to learn the voice of the Lord. Again, it's not meant for them to know the voice, so now they act like they don't need a pastor. The Spirit of the Lord does not overrule the Word of the Lord. The Spirit of the Lord activates and makes alive and endorses the Word of the Lord, not eradicates. See, we got people that go to extreme. Got some folks, you see a demon around every corner. Everything's a demon. Someone sneezed. Oh, that's a demon. 
No, honey, it's a cold. Everything's not a demon. We got other folk, you scared of the supernatural world. You get down and you start praying and you feel something. Ooh, I'm up. <laughs> Thanks, I'm good. I'm up. <laughs> Woo! <sighs> You about ready to make a hole in the wall where there was no door. You've got to live in the supernatural world forever. You've got to stop being afraid of the supernatural. This is supposed to be common and normal. The Bible said about the prophet of Baal that when he was riding the donkey, the donkey started talking to him. Now, personally... I think I would at least gotten off the donkey back and looked at his feet. <laughs> the prophet was so used to the supernatural till he carried on a conversation with a talking donkey. Everybody say we have a better covenant. Everybody say better promises. People say, well, I don't understand why God doesn't speak audibly. Because God doesn't want you jumping out your skin and leaving the bones behind. Because some of y'all get spooked as it is. You feel a little hair go up on the back of your neck. Woo! Do, 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 do. <laughs> some of y'all get nervous. This. If someone prays for someone, that you watch them fall over, you move back a couple of pews. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Everybody say this is supposed to be normal. Lift your hands a moment and just love him, would you, in this house? Somebody needs to start crying out for an anointed life. I want an anointed life. Come on, this is a growth process. I want an anointed life. I don't want to just talk about this thing. I don't want to just preach this thing. I want an anointed life. I want to live this thing. Every day living. An anointed life. Oh, come on. God will teach you how to shop. God knows where all the deals are. God will put stuff on sale for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's an anointed life. You're not stressed over anything. You're not worried over anything. St. John 14, 27. I'm going to read this also out of the Amplified Version of the Bible if you want to listen along. Peace I leave with you. Everybody say, I leave. God said, I give you my peace. I don't give you your mama's peace. I don't give you your daddy's peace. I don't give you your own peace. I'm not giving you human peace. I give you God peace. God peace that's not rocked by situations. God peace that looks at demons and say, I shall not be moved. <laughs> Hallelujah. Peace I leave with you. My own peace I now give. Be quiet to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Neither let them be afraid. Listen to this. Listen. Stop allowing yourselves to be agitated and disturbed. And do not permit yourselves to be fearful and intimidated and cowardly and unsettled. God said, when I gave you the Holy Ghost, I gave you more than a see my tie, tie my tie. See my tie? I gave you more than that. I gave you more than a tongue. You hear me? When I gave you more than a jump and a shout and a dance and a feel good. I gave you power to control you. An anointed life is when everything should be upsetting you and you are controlled by the Holy Ghost and you know that your God is going to make a way somehow. I said somehow. I don't know exactly how, but somehow God's going to open the door and make a way for this thing. And I'm going to hold to his unchanging hand. I'm going to stop allowing myself to be agitated.